Good morning, guys. Or it might be afternoon for you. It might be evening. Whatever it is. Good, good, good day. So, I'm going to try a mosaic tumbler. Um, I've done these steps that take a long time, which is taping them off. So, first of all, I'm going to do this with alcohol inks. And I'm going to be trying out these T-Rex alcohol inks. This is a 12 pack for like 26 bucks, I think, 24 bucks. I'm not expecting a whole lot from them, but they say that they are fiercely vibrant colors. So we'll find out. Um, they're decent sized bottles compared to You know, like the Tim Holtz bottles. These are 0.5 fluid ounces. And then the T-Rex ones are point, point, point 0.67 fluid ounces. So they're decent size. They have 12 colors plus a clear blender. So, um, I'm going to try my Nemesis color, which is green. Anything I try to do green turns out like shit. But I thought that it was a great idea to do one of these tumblers for the very first time. Using, or doing a tumbler using double-sided tape for the very first time. And uh, these glitters from Friends, glitter and more for the very first time. So I'm not sure exactly which glitter I'm going to be using. I'll make that decision after the cup has out the alcohol inks on them. I have a diff bunch of different glitters over here that could possibly be the winner. So I don't know. I'm thinking greenish, goldish. This one here is a chameleon that goes from green to gold. But it's chunky, so I don't know how that would work. And then this one is called Hello Fall. And it is like a orange pumpkin halo so it's got all of the colors in it it's very pretty so we'll make that glitter decision later so what you're going to need if you don't have like I know a lot of people use um, like beauty blenders or whatever to apply your ink I have this little thing uh, and it came with these little felt thingamabobs. So I just cut them in half because I don't need this huge thing. So, all right. So this is double sided tape. I did a vase. I revamped a vase I had. I'll be putting that video up if it not already up it will be up soon so watch out for that uh, get this on Amazon I will link it below it's very sticky double-sided I think I'm missing a size I think it it comes in a five pack I think all different sizes and I think I am missing the size in between this one and this one so no, in between this one and this one. So I'll have to look for that. 
but if not, it's a four pack, but I think it's a five pack. So that's that. So basically I just took my tape and put it on the cup all over. And then when I got to the edges, I took an X-Acto knife. I didn't think you guys would want to watch all this because this did take probably about 30 minutes to put this tape on and get the sides real easy. So you just take the X-Acto knife and you just cut it so that it fits perfect up against each other. And you want to make sure that it's pressed on really good. Because you don't want your inks going underneath it. So that's done. Alright, let me move this out the way. Uh, put these tapes over here because it's about to get messy. So I thought that I would use two of the green T-Rex inks. Try them out. This is Jurassic Green. And this is Irish Moss. So I'm going to use them, and then I'm going, I have uh, some, two of the colors that I mixed from, um, uh, made my own alcohol ink from the Color Art line. This is the Myrtle Green from the Diamond Galaxy. I believe Myrtle Green was Diamond Galaxy. Yep. From the Diamond Galaxy line. Super pretty. Uh, if you want to know how I made these, there is a video. Uh, I'll try to link it if I remember. But if I don't remember, just go to my page and look down and it'll say make your own alcohol inks. So, and then this one was made from seagrass from Color Art, which uh, is not the Diamond Galaxy, it's just uh, the Seagrass from Resin Art, or Color Art Resin Art. Um, so this is the Resin Art Diamond Galaxy. Okay, I do have a code down below. Also, to save 20% on any Color Art products. All right, so those two greens. Then I will be using the gold mixative. And then maybe some Mayron gold that I put some alcohol in and made an alcohol ink spray. Maybe that, maybe that. And then I might use the Pinata Blanco Blanco if the green gets out of control. I might have to mute it down. Hopefully, this is just some 91% alcohol. If I have to erase the whole cup because it sucks because I'm horrible at green. All right, gloves, dauber. All right, so let's get this party started. So I base coated this. This is just a tumbler of steel, a stainless steel tumbler. I actually got it from KS Resin. It does come with a straw and then it's got the little lid that goes like this. So this is a, I think a 20 ounce skinny. Got it from KS Resin. Also, there's a code in the bottom from KS Resin, too, uh, to save money. So I will be coating this also, the epoxy. I'll be using the KS Resin also for that. So, I believe it's a 10% code, and they offer free shipping in the U.S., and they are up and running again. Uh, for taking orders. So I think my code is my best medicine. All caps. All right. So let's get started. 
because I have a feeling I'm going to really mess this up. This might have to be a two-part video if I screw up. So when you're dealing with alcohol inks, not that I deal with them that often because I'm not really a professional alcohol inker, but I do know that you want to wear gloves. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's start out with this Jurassic Green. Okay. We will put uh, the dropper's pretty big. So, let's see if I can do this, guys. Like I said, I've not ever done it before. Uh, I'm not an expert on alcohol inks. I only own four that I didn't make. It's like the little set that this comes with. Uh, I don't know, it was a four pack, Tim Holtz. Those are the only four that I own that I didn't actually make myself. But it looks like these colors are pretty Pretty cool, right? Pretty deep. The little round beauty blender brush or uh, sponges probably would work better. This just seems really bulky. So I'm just going around and just hitting some random spots. And because this one's on the bottom, I'm going to hit the bottom of this part too so that it blends in good. Hmm. Okay, so I got there, there, there. Seems like I need another one. Maybe like here. I haven't had to re-wet it again. I put like five drops on it. You guys, I'm getting freaking alcohol ink all over my... Damn it. All right, the next test will be how we, how easy it is to clean up. Hang on one second. I gotta do something about this. put this in there. I did take some electrical tape 
and I taped my rim here. It makes it a lot easier when you're having to clean up a mess. All right, so I got some alcohol ink here, so. Oh, you know what? I want to use that baby white. I will use some alcohol to clean it up. Okay, it cleans up. Decent, guys. Okay, let's move on to a different color. Uh, let's put the ink. So that's pretty, uh, pretty deep color. So let's try the other one from T-Rex, which is Iris Moss. Irish Moss. Uh, we'll take... that little pad off. We'll put another one on because we can always take it off and put it back on also. Okay. Irish moss. All right, let's try it next to Sorry about the dinging. I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. And it's morning now, so getting those YouTube notifications. When I want them, I don't usually get them. But now that I'm taping, everybody must be uploading. So, this one is light, so you can kind of see, I can kind of like take and do some, it's making some cool effects. So if you can dry it and then like double tap, it's kind of cool, huh? This is on the bottom. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Seriously, I'm not very good with green at all. I don't know why I chose this. Maybe because I've been thinking about my mom and her favorite color is green. That's a very good possibility. All right, let's put, let's put one right here. I really like this lighter color. I like how you can double tap it. Is it double tapping? I don't know. Blotting. 
probably could do it with that one too, but I didn't notice it because it was so dark. So you tap it again and it just kind of does some cool stuff. All right, one, two, three. Uh, almost seems like I need another one, but I just don't know where. Hmm. Eh. We'll leave it. We have tons of green colors happening here. All right, so I'm gonna put that there so I know what color goes with what pad. <laughs> Let's see how this myrtle green will do. <clears throat> that is mica, so when I made it, I just got some of these marble BBs that you can put in nail polish because the mica will settle at the bottom, kind of just like, like, like your gold mixatives and stuff. So it works like a mixative. So, let's see. Oh. See all the sparkle in that, guys? don't know if this is going to work because it's got all that mica in it. But we're going to find out. Ooh, pretty. Sorry, I pulled you out of the view. I have it zoomed in. I probably shouldn't because I got to bring it up to my face a lot. This is reacting like the same way. You can get the blotties. Look at, you can see the mica. We will do one down here. the bottom. You know what? I wonder I can't see very good. I only need my glasses for far away. So like if I'm watching TV or driving. So when I end up leaving them on, then I can't see shit. And I wonder why. I love that. Oh, you can totally see that glittering effect. So pretty. So there's one, 
to uh, we'll do one right here. This cup is pretty heavy if you hold held it for a while. I got to see how far you guys can see me. I should zoom out some. Oh, okay, that myrtle green is gorgeous. You guys see that up close? All right. That's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So... The seagrass kind of looks a lot like the other one. Hmm. 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 What do you think? This is sparklier though. Let's try to layer it. Oops. I'm going to try to Sometimes the little ball rolls up and gets stuck on that thing. What's going on? to find out what's going on with it. Might be clogged up from mica. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, look at that, guys. It is real close to that color. But the color art one. Oh, pretty. So I'm just going to layer this. I'm going to dab some of this sparkly goodness. I love the layering effect. I love that the original color is there, but this like turns it into like a pearl. Super pretty. This 
one kind of looks all bleh now, don't it? Let me kind of dab some of this in the dark. Maybe that'll brighten it up some. Oh yeah, way better. Y'all really should make yourself some color or inks. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't sell them. You guys, it's so pretty. Okay. Oh, I missed one here. It really brightened that dark green right up. I like that. I like that. All right. Um, I was thinking the glitter that I would use would be gold. Should I put some gold? Let's see, let's see. This is Mayron Gold Mica Powder. That I just put in a spray. So we'll see how this acts. Hopefully it acts fabulous like it usually does. Let's do one up here. Beautiful. I'm going to see how far back you guys can see because I think I keep taking it out of frame because I just don't want to get my uh, head in it because I haven't brushed my damn hair today. See that? Can you see the sparkle from the mica? And then, of course, the beautiful Mayron Gold. This is the Myrtle Green. And then this is the Seagrass. Mixed with that Moss T-Rex one. So 
So far looks cool, huh? All right. So. Thinking maybe we should just do the gold. As like a you know like just a little bit here and there I mean I like the gold I just don't know in the end if that'll be too much with the gold glitter. Hmm. Sorry, I'm thinking too much. So yeah, maybe just as an accent. I'm a fan of that bottle. Um, so the good thing about alcohol inks is that you can play with them and get them to do what you want. And then if you don't like it, you can. Oh! You guys almost just fell out of my chair. I ain't even drunk. It's like 10 a.m. So yeah, if you don't like it, then you can get rid of it. Because I'm not digging this right now. I think it's going to be too much gold. Yes, there is such a thing. All right. So Take that off. We're going to put this green one back on.
I'm not. You know what? I lied. I do have a set of the Let's Resin alcohol inks. Should I put some black in there? Let's see what color green this is. From Let's Resin. These ones you gotta pop a hole in. See how green this is. So I'm probably going to pause you guys while I figure or finish this, but I mean, I don't know if you guys want to watch it or sometimes my videos get a little bit wrong. People get bored. And this is like a bright green. My husky's outside my door. If you hear that, that's him pretending to dig a hole to lay in. He's so weird. But he loves his mama. Because anytime I'm downstairs in my art room, he sits right outside my door. He's not allowed in here, but you would not know it with as much husky hair that goes into my artwork. Koja is always contributing to that. I'll have to go to groomers pretty soon because man, oh man, when he starts blowing his winter coat, It's crazy. Um, that one, that one. Uh, this one. Sure, why not? So, I 
I guess if you don't want to watch me dab all of this, you don't want to watch the whole process, you could just fast forward it. And then people who want to watch the whole process can watch the whole process. I hope my head's not in this. Seriously. I have not washed my face today. I have not brushed my hair. I'm still in my jammies. Okay, I need another, what other green should I use? And if you hear somebody scratching at the door, that is my rude Rottweiler puppy that don't have any damn manners. You hear her? Luna, no! She thinks that if she scratches at a door or tries to... Bang it down. Now she's gonna cry. I'm gonna do this spot. I just have two spots left. Well, then I can't really do black because it would be like uneven. So I'm just gonna have to, let's just do some mix of colors. Um, <coughs> sorry. Okay, we're going to put some of this green. again because my clogger or my thing my bob is clogged and In this brighter green, we'll put a little bit of this myrtle green there too. Oh, I just squirted this. Seriously, all down my all right. So let's just play with this. Oh, it's pretty. Uh. Got that other one dripping. I put too much on it. So I had to dab it off. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do one of these cups if it turns out. If it don't turn out, then I probably will give it up. Maybe not. But like all different rainbow colors, that'd be pretty, huh? And then like a, a halo glitter, like a silver halo glitter. Ooh. 
these two colors mixed together are super cool look I don't like that I have that gold on here so anyway when you're working with resin and you don't like what you did you can't just erase it so this is kind of cool that you can just like don't like it okay I'm erasing it and just erase it with alcohol probably could have used a paintbrush to put this on too instead of a dauber right so I'm gonna add a little bit of this we're gonna just blot and blend some of these colors just so that they're not so totally different yeah I don't like that don't like it uh, what color was that this one wasn't it? Was it that one no it was not that one I feel like I'm missing a green here So I'm just adding a little bit of like the same colors over or maybe sometimes the darker ones just to give it a, a cool little effect. And I'm going to try something out. Uh, take that one off. Should I put white in it? No. No, but I am going to try something. I'm just going to try this 91% alcohol and see what happens. Sometimes when you're doing petri dishes, you can just kind of like make your alcohol kind of dance. But this 
see it's giving it a cool little jigamajig. Is that a jigamajig? That's kind of cool. This one seems kind of dull, so I'm going to... Look. Look, we're bringing it back to life. Ooh, I like that. Guys, that's so cool. Oh, this is putting a little bit of the dark back on it. That's okay. Looks pretty. So before I do like epoxy on this and stuff, um, I will spray it down with um, an archival matte spray. You have to um, use a matte spray on alcohol inks. To, uh, this one looks kind of dull, don't it? Because as you can see, if you add alcohol, it re, uh, it reactivates it. So your matte sprays don't have like an alcohol property. I don't know if it's all like that, but I know that if I was to spray a gloss over this, it would reactivate all of the alcohol inks and they'd just be like, bleh. So you can just kind of Keep layering, making them look super cool. Mm, are there any on there that look super boring? Okay guys, so I'm going to spray this. Yep. I'm gonna spray it and see how things go. I'm not gonna use any of white or the gold because I'm gonna use gold glitter. So you want to make sure that all your alcohol inks are capped. All right. So I'm going to take this outside and spray it with this. It's by Krylon. See, it says matte. So, first I'm going to totally let this dry. Then I'll spray it. 
and then I'll bring you back for the glitterinesses. Seriously, this video is already an hour long. So see. See all that it looks like glitter? That's mica from the color art line. I have no glitter on this cup right now. Pretty cool, right? So this is the stuff that I use. All right, guys, I'll be back shortly. Okay. All right, so I went ahead and sprayed it. And I took off, oops, I took off some of them so that you guys didn't have to watch me do it all. But you just peel them off and make sure that you're only taking the white and leaving the sticky. Also, this makes for some very clean lines. white tape so it's kind of hard to see. I have some little bit of bleeding happening right there. No, I'm sorry, right there. Okay, I think I, I think I have them all. All right, so I'm going to, I think I've decided, I've mixed a couple different glitters. Um, some coppers and some golds together to make this, this mix. And I think this is gonna be the winner. Well, let's hope so, because once it's on, it's on, but I think they'll look pretty together. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of this. Hello, fall holographic glitter in there. So when you do like a mix, like I have four or five different glitters in here, so I probably won't be able to tell you what they are. I just know that there's copper, there's gold. Now there's that fall holographic. Uh, there's bronze in there. All right. So. Let's, uh-oh, don't stick your cup to the paper. Don't do that. Oh. 
think my son will be coming in here in a minute. He's looking for me. I don't know why he didn't check in here. He's probably checking in my bedroom. You guys, I think this is going to be gorgeous. I want to jinx myself. Because I do not have good luck with green. Yeah, he's back down here. Just want to go over it, make sure you got all of your spots. And then kind of pat it in. Uh, I don't know if rubbing it will knock it off. but it will burnish your glitter down. Oops. I'll have to do something. Actually, I'm going to just dip it here. That works, right? Because you don't want to forget your bottom. I'll do something with the bottoms. All right. So I'm just going to brush this excess off. to use a different brush because there's some that's not coming off. So then after I get all of this extra glitter off, I'll look it over real good. Make sure I didn't miss any spots. Like right there. It 
So, and then I will spray it again and seal this glitter in. Again, I will use the matte spray again uh, because of the alcohol inks. So let me give you a close up. And then then I will epoxy it. Isn't that gorgeous? Guys. I'm loving this cup. I'm so going to do one in rainbow colors and then like a silver halo glitter. I'm glad I added that holographic in that mix. But I'll do something with the bottom here. Probably just alcohol ink it. So pretty. And then if you turn it this way, you'll see the shimmer of the... Actually, you won't see the shimmer of it because I sprayed it with a matte spray. So it kind of took all the shimmer off of it. But once I put epoxy on it, it will reignite that shimmer. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So, um, I will bring you back when I'm epoxying it, I guess. And then if you want to skip that part, you can. And if you don't, and you want to watch it, then you can watch it. And I will see you guys after this gets sprayed and ready to get put on a turner. I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, guys. This is my first coat of epoxy. And, oh my god. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. At the bottom here. So pretty. This is just a super thin layer. And then I'm going to do a thicker layer with a food grade epoxy. This one is the Stone Coat Quick Coat. Just a real thin layer just to get it all sealed. And then my last one which is not food grade so um so my final coat the flood coat i will flood coat it with um uh ks art resin which is food safe and heat resistant but you still You can't, it doesn't make them um, dishwasher safe. So you still have to wash all your tumblers, your handmade tumblers like this, hand wash them. They'll last a ton longer. Oh, you guys, I'm loving it. Do you see all that sparkle in the colors? That is the mica from the resin art colors that is on top of alcohol inks. It's the homemade alcohol inks I made with the resin art colors. This is my first mosaic cup. And my first alcohol ink cup. And I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot toot. I think I nailed this one. All right. 
So I will show it to you when it's completely finished and epoxied and everything um, with the final coat. Uh, maybe after this video, depending on how I can get it uploaded. Um, or it might be in a video that I'm going to be doing later. Later on, probably this weekend of uh, how did they dry. So... All right, guys, thanks for watching. See ya. Okay, guys, here it is. All finished. My bottom's finished. Look at that. You can see, like, I'll put it up against the black, lay it down. See all the sparkle from the mica? That's from the... Oh, my camera skills are on point today, aren't they? All the sparkle you see in the colors is from the mica from the um, homemade alcohol inks I made with the primary elements. Oh, I love this cup. Let me get way back here. Isn't it pretty? comes with a straw too. You don't have to use the straw, but I do. I believe this is a 20 or a 30 ounce. I don't know. It's a skinny. Might be 20 ounce. I'll have to measure it. But yeah, if you are interested in this cup, contact me. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.